We often talk about the user experience, but frequently we don't talk about the people that build the user experience, the developer experience. Developers have a lot of frustrations, a lot of things that aren't writing code that they are dealing with. And Spotify saw this themselves, and they decided to do something about it. So they created an open source project donated to the CNCF called Backstage. Backstage attempts to address all of these, but doing it slightly differently by always making sure that the developer's in focus. So let's look at some of these pains and how Backstage can help solve them. First off is bookmark of death. What do I mean by that? Well, as a developer, I've felt this myself in the past, and I feel like a lot of you watching this have. You have a never-ending list of bookmarks that if you lost, you probably wouldn't know where to go or how to find anything. And why do you have these? Because there's no central place to find all of your websites, your applications. And Backstage solves this with the catalog. But the way it does it is a little differently. Instead of another thing to maintain, it simply leverages the repositories you already have. Let it be repositories storing your Kubernetes projects, or automation playbooks, or virtual machine applications. You've already taken the time to organize them and structure them. So Backstage leverages them to create this catalog. So everything is now in one place. To top that off with plugins, now you can bring the technologies that those use into the catalog. So now when you look at an item, such as your Kubernetes service, we can see the Argo CD run or Tekton run. We can also see any JIRA tickets or any other project management tickets that you're using. We might also be able to see, say, pull requests that are waiting to be reviewed and really anything else. Now, the next thing that gets frustrating is ticket purgatory. You've probably been there. You need a new repository, you need a new service or a namespace in your cluster, a new VM spun up, something. And you wind up searching forever, trying just to figure out who do I even ask. Then when you do, you file a ticket and hope that one day it gets answered and you're left in purgatory. Well, Backstage solves this with what's called software templates. And software templates enable your organization to create best practices and automate them. So instead of you filing a ticket and then talking to somebody else and hoping for the best, you simply fill out a form and software templates kicks off any of the automations necessary to build these things. Let it be you. Kubernetes namespace, new automation playbook, an entire Git repository, or a virtual machine. And then it also makes sure to add that into the catalog. So now that new resource that you've spun up is expanding in the catalog for you. So we've got a catalog with all of our stuff. We can make new things. Now we have to explain what they are. And this is where the documentation graveyard comes in. You write a document, you put it in a file, put it in a folder, maybe you put it in a master document management system your company has, and it's gone forever. You can't find it, no one else can find it. Even if they wanted to, they probably will never look at it again. It's not updated and it confuses everyone. You hire someone new and they don't even know where to get started. So Backstage addresses this by simplifying the documentation problem. By one, eliminating proprietary, strange, WYSIWYG documents and just connecting them to the catalog and making them markdown files that live in your repository. So now, whenever you want to update your documentation for, say, my service running Kubernetes, well, I just do a pull request. And that means that when I'm updating code, I can probably update the document along the way. Backstage takes care of rendering all of it together in one place. I just put it in the repository like I do everything else. And now we've got a catalog, we've got the documents, we've got the templates. That's a lot of stuff. So how did we make this any better? Well, we tie it all together by preventing you from being lost at sea. By that, I mean finding your way. With Backstage's search, it indexes the catalog, the documentations, software templates, and plugins. And from there, you're able to search to find anything. So maybe you want to know if we have a Kafka service that runs already, or if you want to know who owns that website and everything in between. Because the search is building off the material that you 
as the developer are helping add through the repository you're already managing, that means you can find it and it's always up to date. So Backstage is able to address that problem with the bookmarks from death by giving you a catalog to pull all of your stuff from your repository and make it easy to find. It gives you a way to create those new resources through software templates. It gives you a way to keep up with documents so they don't go to the graveyard. And it prevents everyone from being lost by indexing all of it and making it easy to find. If you want to learn more about Backstage and how it can benefit your organization or how to contribute to itself, go to Backstage.io. From there, you'll find tutorials and examples of how to deploy Backstage and how to make best practices for your organization. And if you want a fully supported, scaled, enterprise-capable, and secured and compliant version, Red Hat Developer Hub might be for you. This is Red Hat's enterprise-hardened instance of Backstage with our own hardened plugins. To learn more about that, go to developers.redhat.com slash RHDH. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on that bell so you'll get notified whenever we release any new videos.